going to actually show you how to take out poetic justice braids, single braids, box, bra box braids, however, whatever you call them. I'm going to be demonstrating my takeout because as you can see, and actually these up here are Cherokee braids or the Ghana braids I did on myself and I did them because I had a wedding on March 17th and it was beautiful but I, my hair was matted, actually I had like a, a lock, my hair was starting to lock in the back and I was so like, I felt like my life was over because I had to cut the back of my hair, oh, it was so sad, I had to cut it, but I tried to preserve some hair and everything, but anyway, I put these in my hair, I put the Ghana braids in front, because it took less time than to actually do all individuals in the front, so that was my way of trying to save time, and they actually came out cute, but... To maintain them, you have to sleep with the scarf every night, and I don't like doing that, or I wake up and it falls off in the middle of the night, and I hate it. So I just don't sleep with them, a scarf on, a silk scarf, but, and this is the result. You get fuzzy, old braids. But actually, okay, I'm doing this tutorial because people, when I say, oh, I have to take off my braids, they say... How do you take those out? And I'm like, what, what do you mean? They say, how do you take your braids out? And, of course, I give them the, the side. I'm like, really? You don't know how to take out? But I'm here to show you. So all you need is scissors and a comb. And preferably the rat tail where it's pointed at the bottom. This will help you out a lot. Okay. So now, take whatever one you want. I usually start from the side. I usually start from the side and I measure to where my hair could be. Because you don't want to Start at the ends. You don't want to start at the end of your hair. And take it out one by one. Do you see how time consuming that could be? Mm -mm. Anybody have time for that? So, I get my scissors out. Scissors shears, whatever people call them, and you know how long your hair is. Your hair grows in braids, but I haven't had it in that long. It's only been a month, and I know my hair hasn't grown that much. And then usually I look to see where my hair ends, basically, on the braid. And this is kind of hard to tell because... This hair looks just like my hair. It blends well and it all has the frayed ends. You see? It has the frayed ends like your hair would naturally do. That it pokes out or whatever. So just to be safe that I won't cut my hair, make sure you don't cut your hair. I know my hair isn't like on my boobs down below my boobs so I'm just going to be safe do it the safe way and I'm going to cut right here and this is what we have this is what I'm left with put that in the garbage so you take this and usually I just use my fingers now because it's so easy to take out. But if you want 
you can use your comb, just poke it through. Some people, they, this is like so easy for them. You just, you see how easy that is? You just take it and you put the comb through like the little loops, the spaces that it has. Can you see that? But me personally, the comb, this comb, the point is not for me. I feel like I'm taking time trying to look for the loop. Anyway, I don't have that. So, I take my hands and I just go in between. And sometimes you may get a knot, but it's okay. Just pull through. You may get a knot at the ends, but it's okay. Because it ain't your hair. Well, I hope it's not my hair. And you keep going. It's like a... You know how when you braid down? It's like you're braiding backwards. <laughs> I guess. Ooh. And just be patient and, and don't try to rush through it because you may get knots. And you don't want to tear your hair out or pull your hair. And now I'm at my scalp. And I'm just doing the same thing. And it may be a little more rough at the scalp. Your hair may be a little bit more rough because of the product that you put and before, ooh, and make sure you're very careful right here because, oh yeah, you know with the Ghana braids, you put in a piece of hair, like a little piece of hair as you go along braiding. So this is one. And... And with some, well, these braids, I made sure that, because I love my edges. Some people don't have them. I have them, and I want to preserve them. <laughs> so if you want to preserve your edges, you need to, when doing Ghana braids, maybe I'll do a tutorial on Ghana braids, because I love them. It was my first time trying them on myself. I see them on other people. And I was like, well, why not, you know? Because I consider myself to be a good braider. So I'm like, okay. I can do it. So but anyway, I... Um, instead of adding the hair at the top, the very first part of the braid, instead of adding the hair right here, I don't do that. I braid a little first. And then I add the hair so you won't have that much tension on your the edge of your hair. It's the very beginning of your hair. So, that's a good tip for anyone. Okay. You see, it's kind of hard to get it out. Because the braid is so small. But anyway, here's my hair. All in one piece. No knots. You see a little dirt in there. That's okay. That's from my makeup. Well, it's not dirt. It's makeup. Did I call it dirt? Because it looks dirty. <laughs> yeah, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's that. Okay, guys. I'm going to show you one more time what I actually do. And then I'm going to twist this because when I braid my hair well when I go to cut 
the next braid, I don't want to cut my hair. Because I love my hair. <laughs> I love it. But I'm going to braid it down, twist it down, whatever you want to do, or just clip it over. I didn't bring my clips because this was supposed to be an easy tutorial where you don't need a lot of things. You just need your scissors. And if you prefer the comb, you use your comb. So I'm going to put that over. Okay, here's the next one. And these actually, okay, I'm going to do a top. Because you can, these right here, you can see actually where my hair start, stops. Because they're, it's kind of fatter, then the braids get smaller. So fat to skinny. So I'm going to do one up here for you guys. You see that? And I actually like the way this looks. How it looks nice and neat. Well, it's frizzy and old now, but when they were new. I love when the braids are together. The look, the look that it gives. It looks professional and neat. So yeah. So I'm going to take this one. And you can actually see it's kind of hard. As people do in their videos. I'm geeked to do that. <laughs> but okay. You can see that my hair blends very very well it blends well so it's kind of hard to know where to cut so if your hair blends very well and you're scared you're like absolutely horrified to cut your hair don't cut it just start from the ends. It may take a little bit more time, but just start from the ends, the end of your braid, and it's rough down there. And then just backwards braid, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. Or you can just take your comb, this thing, and go ahead and, let's see if I can turn it this way. Go ahead and go through the spaces. And it kind of makes knots because this hair is kind of rough. You see? But me, because I'm a G, it's like, but if you cut your hair like me, I've cut my hair so many times that it's cool. Like, my hair has been long, short. I've cut my hair throughout my lifetime, like a big chop, maybe from the time I was in college um, and I got out, maybe from 2005, I big chopped like three, three times in 10 years, three or four times, so and I didn't got that sick. But um, I just go ahead and I make sure I know how long my hair is. Like in the front. So I just measure from there. And then just to be safe, go longer. See that? Okay, and then put your scissors down, and then go ahead and just unravel it. Take your comb, put it through spaces, and break it through, but I'm not going to do that, like I said before, because that's harder for me, and I feel like it takes time, because you're trying to do basically two things at one time, and I'm probably not that coordinated, so...
You see how easy this is? It's so easy. Simple. And then there's that first piece I added. And then take, I'm using one hand now because it's easier. And I want you guys to actually see what's going on. Run your fingers all the way down. Okay, and here's that second piece. garbage when I finish Here's the last piece. Okay. Is there another piece in there? You see? And there it is. So yeah, these are going to take, let's see how long. Yeah. I cut it like just to measure to see where to cut my other hair. Cut the other braids when so about right there. So okay. There it is. And that's how I take out my braids, my cornrows. It's easy, simple, so again, if you need scissors and you trust yourself and you don't care about cutting your hair, if you may cut your hair, but use the scissors because it's a time saver. And these are my Paul Mitchell shears. And actually, let's put them back in the case because my daughter... She's everywhere. Put those back in the case. And then the comb. Any rat tail comb. Some people may even use the top. And they just rake through. Me, I'm not a fan of it. But you may like it. And again, I'm super natural and I'm excited because this is my first tutorial and I'm coming back. I'm going to take all of these out and I'll have another tutorial on. Ooh, my eyelashes coming out. Hmm. These lashes from e.l.f. Girl. Anyway, I'm going to take my hair out. I'll be back. I'm going to wash condition. Um, if there's anything that you guys want to see me do, any tutorials on how to do this or that, any hairstyle or questions about this, how to take down if you didn't quite get it, just um, in, the, in the comments, just leave a message and tell me what you want, whatever. I'll do it if I can. And just like and subscribe, of course. Leave a comment. Like, subscribe, tell me the things that I did wrong or the things that you do and maybe it'll help me take out my hair faster. So thank you, I love you guys and goodbye. Have a great always Friday. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> Have fun, be safe and I'll see you next time.